communities hit by America's opioid epidemic are starting to get their share of the $50 billion in legal settlements from drug makers, wholesalers, and pharmacies. Most of that money must be used to address the crisis, and that could mean communities look more like the area around Finley, Ohio. 48-year-old Corey Kinn is working to ensure people stay in recovery. Our main goal was to bridge the gap after treatment, because after they get out of jail or prison and they start treatment, and then when everything's said and done, then what do you do? Kin leads a sober living house for the organization Focus, helping others who are recovering from an addiction. The guys will get up, they'll get their coffee, get ready for work, I have conversations with them, see if they need anything, you know, just kind of see where they're at. He says it's important that people working to stay sober have someone who understands the journey. Okie doke. Someone like him. All right, you ready? I hurt my back in 99. And that's kind of where I got introduced to, you know, pain pills, tried heroin, and that was a whole different animal. Everything I did was to feed the heroin addiction. He spends the second half of his day inside the focus office. The key wouldn't work, Miss Ashley. Working with clients in their recovery. How are you doing? Doing good. How are you? Oh, I'm here. The county has not decided how it will spend the settlement money. But advocates like Precious Stuby think the system here could be a model for other communities. Our goal has been to try and ignite every part of our community to be part of the solution and come to the forefront with this is something that you can do. Experts say focusing on recovery is crucial. So far in 2023, only three overdose deaths have been confirmed in the county versus 28 the previous year. Kin thinks they are helping too. You plant to see, but you may never see the tree grow. Just knowing that I helped plant that seed and it's a possibility that it will grow is enough for me. Patrick Orsagas. Glad to hear you're doing better. Associated Press in Finley, Ohio.